Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be answering the question, what's the difference between internal comments and customer facing comments inside of Jira Service Management? If you haven't already, please consider smashing that subscribe button, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, let's jump into Jira Service Management. If you've ever used Jira Service Management and you've opened up a request that has come through, down towards the bottom, you may have noticed that unlike regular Jira, where you just have a comment, you have two options in Jira Service Management. And those options are add internal note and reply to customer. And in this video, I want to cover what the difference is between the two and show you how to use them effectively. I will start with reply to customer. The reply to customer is probably the easiest. If you click on reply to customer, you will notice that you have the text box just like you do for any other comment. This is really, really just basic stuff here, right? So it's not anything mind blowing or anything like that. So all you know is that when you click on reply to customer, you're just going to be prompted to be able to type in a comment. Now, what makes this section interesting is when I type this and I hit save, then you'll notice that the color of it is white. And that means that this comment that I've added is basically public. Anybody that has access to this particular request will be able to see this comment. So anybody in my team that is licensed plus the reporter, which is a customer, plus any other request a participant that has been granted access to this particular request will be able to see this comment. But because this is a service management project, because this is ITSM, and this is designed for a team of internal people to kind of come together, swarm and troubleshoot and help fix these problems every once in a while. And by every once in a while, I mean most of the time that team wants to kind of um, troubleshoot. They want to think things through. They want to ask questions to themselves that they aren't necessarily ready to expose and or ask publicly back to the reporter or to the requested participant. So when you want to do that, the trick here is rather than replying to customer, you want to add an internal note. And you'll notice that when you add an internal note, it looks exactly the same like the reply to customer and the regular just a comment. But something is going to be different once I add the comment. So check this out. So if I do this is an internal comment and I hit save, Notice that instead of it being white, it is now yellow or tan or whatever color you want to call this. I'm not really big on the Crayola stuff, but you'll notice that it's uh, a different color. It's got a little lock and it says internal note. And this is what you want because you don't necessarily want to air your dirty laundry when you're investigating, when you're troubleshooting, when you're trying to figure out what the heck the problem is. And so you want to be very, very careful. You want to make sure that when you are interacting in a Jira service management project, that you're aware that you have two different types of comments because it's easy to forget. It's easy to come over from Jira where you just used to adding comments because everybody in the team can see them to now you want to be selective. Now you want to be prescriptive because you don't always want to share everything, especially when you're still trying to figure things out. When you're still troubleshooting, you don't necessarily want your customer to be able to see that internal conversation. So make sure that those comments are yellow. Now, in the unlikely event that you do make a mistake and you actually expose it, well, first of all, tough luck because the, the email notification will go out. So the customer will be able to see it. And so if they get to it before you do, they're seeing that comment. But let's say that they're la delayed a little bit and you actually catch it on time. You can actually click on edit here and just click on this add internal note and then hit save and it will convert that formerly public comment to an internal comment. Now to wrap this video up, I do want to show you two different things. I basically want to say, tell you, how do you set up people? How do you set up the, the folks so that you know who's internal to your team and who's external to your customers so that you can kind of understand who's going to see which type. So let me show you what that looks like inside of JSM. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back to my projects here, go down to project settings and under people, I want to show you essentially how you set people up under people here. You will notice that you will have a role. Now this is specific to JSM only. 
And so you're not gonna see this if you're only in Jira software. So this is a Jira service management only feature. So under roles on top of just administrators, we're actually gonna have two extra roles, service desk customers and service desk team. This, I should do a dedicated video, but I'm just gonna give you a little teaser here. Any person that is your service desk customer, that is gonna be people that like submit the requests or other requested participants they're going to see those customer facing comments. The service desk team, these are licensed people. These are people that you're actually paying at last year in 20 or $40 a month in order to be able to manage those requests. So any internal person, you're going to want to give them the service desk team. And so all you got to do is make sure that the right person's on either in the customer side or the team side, and they're going to be able to see either the public facing reply to customer comment or the internal note that goes to just the team. So you want to make sure that whoever's name is there is corresponded to the right box here. Now on top of that, just in case in the unlikely event that for whatever reason, your customers are not getting notifications, there is a dedicated customer notification section here, which again, we're going to cover in a future video. But just for the purposes of these public comments, I want to let you know that there are two sections here, where when you do have a customer, these will be public facing comments, public comments added and public comments edited. You can manipulate, you can turn these on and off. So if your customer for whatever reason is not getting in on any notifications and you've confirmed that they're in the team role, then come and check your customer notifications here to make sure that those are actually toggled on. And to get to this customer notifications within the project settings, there's a customer notification section here on the left hand side. And so that's all you got to do. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hopefully it saves you some embarrassment. <laughs> because I know that me personally using these things, I want to have private conversations with my team as we're trying to figure it out as we're troubleshooting. And so that internal comment is a really, really great way to keep that conversation private, but keep the context of the troubleshooting locked in with that scope of that request. And anytime you want to ask a customer for something, or you want to just talk to them, or just update them on stuff outside of the status changes, then replying to that customer using that other common feature is going to be a really great way to do it as well. And most importantly, just know that there's two options. Because again, if you're coming over from Jira software, you may just be used to just commenting. And it can take some time to start clicking on the add internal note. Otherwise, all those comments are going to be public and anybody that has access to that request outside of your team will be able to see them. Sometimes you don't want that to happen. So just make sure you are selecting the right option. Well, anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you do smash that subscribe button. This video is part of the Summer of Atlassian 2.0, which means we're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. And so if you haven't subscribed and you've made it this far, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. It's completely free. All you got to do is click on that button and you're going to help us hit our goals. Also, please make sure you do share, comment, like on this video as that really does help the algorithm spread the love of this video. And so this will let more people know more about this video. And most importantly, you're going to be able to share this video with your team, your coworkers, your peers, so that they too cannot make those embarrassing mistakes. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a